reigning champ, Ultra Boost. Real runners here. Something that we don't do in North America, running a cool shoes. <laughs> so right now we're in Harajuku, right? And there's this street, uh, I don't even know the pause. I just know that on Google Maps it says Forkom Jugume. And today we're gonna try to find at least one shoe that Petrina likes and see if she's Watch, gonna buy it. Look at it. his car. And see if she's gonna buy it. This is East Arrows. I never heard of East Arrows. Go in and find out some shoes. Oh, yeah, fancy. That's pretty cute. Yeah, there's some Yeah. Alright, let's see what we got here. We got some Supra. Supra is not very popular. Oh, these ones that you like? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. These are the Superstar slip ons. So, you got Air Max 90. You got a pair of Easy's. 184,000 yen. And then we got our Bape NMDs, 150 yen. So they have OG, 44,000 yen. That's about $500 Canadian. Yeah, these are all resale, yeah, yeah, for sure. This is the resale of the, uh, I think this is the White Mountaineering. Oh, it's not, yeah, it is, White Mountaineering. This one? That's, That's the Bedwin. That's 400 bucks. That, 407. Yo, these are sick. Um, you got the Y3 Ultra Boost. What's a shoe store without Yeezys, right? So, you got your Freds, you got your Olives, you got your Coppers, you got your Zebras, and you got your Oreos. And you got your Core Blacks, no Triple Whites. No, where's yeah, where's the Belugas at, eh? <laughs> <laughs> so, this is Kicks Lab. It's one of those famous stores in Tokyo for shoes. Yeah, but they still don't have it. So, they got the Silver, they got the... Prime Knit CK, uh, City Sock. It smells good in here. It smells full of shoes. Full Prime Knit. Full Prime Knit EQT. She's been eyeing these for so long. So Petrina's been eyeing these for so long, but none, no stores have her size. So we're gonna find out whether or not she they have the size for her. Let's go check it out. I was wondering if you guys have size 6 US. Size. Yeah, lady size, size 6. No, only this size. Oh, oh, no. Okay, alright, thank you. So, sorry, you can't have it. I don't, I'm, I'm not a huge fan of these, but look at them. Pretty cool. It's almost like a shoe gallery here. I know, it is. Wow, that sucks. They don't have the EQTs for your size. I know. Would you get those zebra ones? No. <laughs> Black shoes, not white. <laughs> Whoa, has these been released? Has these been released? Ignite Evo. Oh, it's not the knit though. Yeah, I'm not updated on Puma, so sorry, excuse me for my lack of Puma knowledge. Oh, they have displays. Desert Trooper. Oh, Puma and De Kickslap did a collab. Oopsie. So, this is their displays. People are always hyping up about how Nike did that automatic tying laces. Technology. Well, if you don't have enough money, you can buy this and just twist it to lock in your tight fit. It's pretty dope. More? Yeah, there's more tons. This whole street is sneakers. All of, no copper and uh, up tempo. Oh my god, this is literally your heaven. Yeah, so yeah. Tokyo 23. So 23 is obviously Jordan's number. So I bet this is a Jordan store. Yeah, all Jordan. Hi. It's funny because they're playing Kendrick and this is a Jordan store and Kendrick signed with Reebok. Oh really? Yep. This is so funny. These are so funny. So hopefully I can find the EQT Prime Knit for Petrina because then <laughs> the goal <laughs> The goal will not be here. You don't want to go to this? Yeah. Cool. Supreme. Supreme stuff. All right, this is going to be resale heaven right here. Supreme to hell. Supreme, Supreme. And they have the Supreme up tempos that just released. It says Sup on this side. And then Prem on the other side. Yo, this is a Supreme store, right? Top to bottom. This one just released. This, this is the North Face Supreme. Okay. First Baloo guys. Yo, everyone uh, here has hype shoes. Yeah, it's He's hype shoes. same as you. So this is Billy's Tokyo. I heard a lot about this store. It's a really clean looking uh, boutique. 
So you got your city socks, you got your R2s, you like got your fun. LTD. Yeah. You got your female Ultra Boost. I kind of wish they made a men's version because like that arch support looks really cool and comfy to use. You have this one. Yeah, no, it, it, they never released it in Canada, at least to my knowledge. This is LTD, leather heel cage, leather heel cup. Uh, same with this, this is leather heel cage. I mean, sorry, leather three strip cage and leather oh, heel yeah, cup. Oh yeah, it feels good. Yeah. I can't believe this is leather. It's kind of weird. Like, what kind of leather is that? So we got our van section here. Always a clean shoe brand to rock around. Oh, they have Diodora, which I've never... I don't really know any boutiques that hold Diodora in Toronto. There might be, but I'm completely completely blind to that. We got more vans here. There's a lot of vans in here. These, these Nikes are pretty cool. It's like a tightening zip-on, almost like a bag for your ankle. So we just finished at Billy's Tokyo, and now we're gonna head to Undefeated and maybe the Supreme store. Ow, fuck. Almost destroyed my Ultra Boost down that step. After tax. So Undefeated drops a lot of shoes. So I've personally never been to a Supreme store. Maybe this will be an interesting experience. Sadly, I don't think I'll be able to film it because these people keep kicking me out <laughs> with my fucking camera, so. They Maybe, kicked you out? Well, no, they kicked me out, but like, sorry, I mean like, they didn't kick me out, but they definitely told me to turn off my camera. So, they're really tight on that for some reason. Maybe for fakes and stuff, but anyways. So, let me go check out the Supreme store and see what's up. So, the Supreme store. Sorry. Yeah, they love doing that. Oh, no photo, sorry. So me not ever being able to go to Supreme Store, bought uh, three Haynes tagless t-shirts. Um, I bought them in medium. I'm not sure if they're perfect for my size. Hopefully they are. So there's way more. Oh, Chapters. Chapters and Atmos. Those two I have to go to. So Chapters is another shoe store in Japan that's really well known. And Atmos. Everyone knows Atmos. The Chapters, see if we can find anything. So this is Atmos. Another shoe store in Japan. I'll find it somehow for you. Yeah. I really like these slides though. Oh. Good morning guys. So yesterday we ended our night at um, Shibuya and we were so tired when we got onto the subway we actually went to the last stop when we were supposed to get out at the third last stop so it we was fell just, asleep we, we knocked out yeah, on the we were so tired we just literally went home and crashed and now we, we kind of slept in um, we're an hour behind our schedule that we wanted to follow right now we're headed to get breakfast at Lawson's it's one of their most popular 7-Eleven uh, type yeah. convenience stores. This one looks really good. Look at this one. There's chocolate filling in there. And then we're gonna get one of these as well. They offer hot drinks in these packages and it's a hot surface, I'm pretty sure. So this is the hot coffee. It's really warm in my hand right now. So it's hot right there. Pretty interesting. We made it to the Meiji Jingu and it wasn't too hard to get to. Um, we almost got off at the wrong subway station again, but we realized, so it's all good. So right now we're inside the Meiji Shrine walkway in the park and we're heading towards the Meiji Shrine. But look how deep this forest goes. It's all the way back there. Look how big and old these trees are. It's pretty fascinating. Wish 
and then put it in an envelope and then donate it to that box. We're leaving the shrine now and uh, it was really cool seeing all the stuff and we actually got to see a wedding going on and they were walking and doing their ceremony but the unfortunate thing was that part of the shrine is actually under construction so we didn't get the full experience of it but that's okay just another excuse to come back again right definitely used a monopod to hold on this setup today the monopod snapped it cracked here and it like the zoom doesn't work the focus doesn't work, nothing f***ing works, so... $700 lens, f straight down the drain. Jesus. This sucks. I don't even know what to do for the rest of the trip. I don't know what version Y3 this is, but this looks dope as f***. Looks pretty dope still. Nothing in particular that I liked. Um, I mean, there's city socks, there's some ultra boost, but I didn't really want to waste money right now. I have too many shoes in my collection, um, especially after I broke that camera lens. But at least I bought something small, uh, Supreme Store <laughs> tagless shirt. And uh, Petrina unfortunately couldn't find her UQTs in her size. Yeah. Are you upset about that? It's okay. Maybe we'll find it in Hong Kong. Maybe we'll find it in Hong Kong. We walked through all the stores, the shoe stores. It was pretty cool, but we didn't find anything. He just bought something small from Supreme. Um, but now we are headed to Tokyo Tower, which is the thing that looks like Paris Eiffel Tower. Yeah. So hopefully it's just as cool. Hopefully I've never some. seen the Paris Eiffel Tower either, so. Here it is. We're gonna probably walk closer to it later and maybe go up it, right? We're gonna go up it since we didn't go up the sky tree. This is the length that Billy goes to to take hype photos. Lying on the ground, trying to do the opposite of rooftopping. Cause here, we're right below the Tokyo sky tower how was it did it turn out nice sneak peeks okay we're gonna go up now so right now we're inside the Tokyo tower this is the view that you will see on the other side We saw this thing outside, the Tokyo Tower, and it's so pretty and cute. I love it. We're heading back to the station so that we can go to Mega Web Toyota, Toyota, which is basically just like a big showroom for Toyota. And it's apparently supposed to be really cool. It's free entrance and stuff, so we're gonna go check it out. In the middle of Tokyo, cleaning our fucking shoes. <laughs> Tree, the Tokyo 
Tower, the Diver City, Mirai Khan Science Center. Um, yeah, we saw all the big stuff and now we're at Tokyo Big Sight. Here is the Tokyo Big Sight. It's so big and it looks cool. Billy finished his big photo shoot at Big City. What is it called? Big, big site? Tokyo big at site. Tokyo Big Site. And it was getting pretty cold. Um, and now we're headed to our last and final destination of the night. So here we are. The Mega Web Toyota City Showcase. This place is honestly so big. Oh my god. So this station is called Ride One. The reason why is because you actually get to test drive a lot of their cars. Behind here, in this area, behind the mall, is actually an area where you can test out all of um, whatever cars available in Toyota selection. So if you're for here, you can see you can test drive any one of these. Any one of these. This line is really long, so I don't think I'm going to try and do this tonight. So right now we're at Yoshinoya. Uh, I don't have the logo here. Oh, right here, Yoshinoya, uh, top left corner. And it's a very cheap beef rice noodle bowl place, and you just come in and you sit and you get your food and you go. So this is a $5 meal. Soup, rice, cabbage. She got uh, rice, soup, and some salad. So I personally have not tried this in years, and it still tastes pretty good. The picture was first time. What do you think? Mm, good. It's really good. Yeah.